Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com, here with a bit of classic film music. You know, I just spent over an hour making a video about Handel's operas, 12 of them. That's a lot of operas, and I need a change of pace. And what could be a better change of pace than Bram Stoker's Dracula? Yeah, there's something well, for a rainy day. Oh boy, it's actually a very good movie and a very, very good score. It's by Ukrainian slash Polish slash Eastern European slash composer slash Wojciech Kilar, who's really a composer of considerable substance. He passed away in 2013, but he wrote music for a whole bunch of films. He began his career as sort of one of those Polish avant-garde, Penderecki, Goretzky, you know, those people. And then evolved in a slightly postmodern, almost minimalist style um, that returned, as so many did, to sort of tonal anchors. But the fact of the matter is he was a tremendous composer of music for films. And this marvelous recording features uh, the Polish National Radio Symphony Orchestra, Katowice, and the Krakow Philharmonic, both under Antony Witt, a fantastic conductor. And we get music not just from uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula, but also from, let's see, what else? Oh, the König der Letzten Tage, the King of the Last Days, and Death and the Maiden, which is really quite marvelous. That's a 12-minute suite. And, and the Beads of One Rosary and Pearl in the Crown. All of those films. Now, his movie style is, is what you might call, it, as some would call it postmodern. I call it post-Bernard Herrmann because Bernard Herrmann was the king of the sequence, you know, finding a little atmospheric nugget and repeating it at different pitch levels and with different scoring. And, and that's sort of what Keylar does here. The music is extremely atmospheric. It's obviously subordinate to some sort of visual imagery. You feel, you feel the visual imagery behind the inspiration for the music. Some of you might find it a little bit repetitive, um, and it is, it is. It's, it's music to set the mood, but it does that awfully well. So I want to play you a little sample here, just so that you can get a sense of what I'm talking about from Dracula. Uh, the, the suite has six movements, and they're marked the brides, the party, um, Minna and Elizabeth, who are the two heroines, um, vampire hunters, uh, Minna and Dracula, and then finally, the storm. Ooh, that's the finale. This is a 23-minute long concert suite. It'd be wonderful in performance in like real life. But of course, no one's ever going to play it. So we have to listen to it on recording. And fortunately, this Naxos recording is an extremely good one. I want to play you The Brides, which is effectively the, the opening of the whole thing. And you'll, you'll hear both the repetition, but also how instantly atmospheric and I mean, it's perfect for this music. It's passionate and it's atmospheric and it has that sort of sort of Slavic, Eastern European, Lystian tang to it that's really, really quite marvelous. I mean, you know, Kilar just sort of nails the imagery immediately. You listen to this and you really hear like Transylvania, castle in Transylvania, sexy stuff, creepy and spooky. It's got all of that. Um, you know, and it just repeats for a while for like four minutes. But what the hell? It's four fun minutes. So here it is, um, The Brides from Bram Stoker's Dracula by Wojciech Kilar.
See what I mean? Very, very atmospheric stuff and perfect for the film. But all of the music here is, is really is really quite worth listening to. Tilar's specialty, um, I think, was writing for strings. He was a really, really masterful, you know, exponent of evocative string textures and using small groups of instruments, piano and a few instruments or percussion, and a, but with the basis of the string ensemble. And uh, the music for all of these films is wonderful and well worth hearing. Antony Witt, of course, is a superb conductor, and the Polish forces play marvelously, and Nexus has captured them in pellucidly warm and, and, and sumptuous sonics. And so uh, I really strongly recommend that you go out and get your Dracula. You won't regret it. And it's wonderful to listen to when you've just finished up a bunch of Handel operas or a lot of other things. So keep on listening, my friends. Thank you so much for joining me. Take care.